The first movie about the iconic hero Spider-Man in 2002 was so successful that led to two sequels that were released in 2004 and 2007. Not only did this trilogy provide a good dose of web-swinging fun, it also had a heart thanks to the combined charms of the whole cast members. It's been 20 years since the first installment of the franchise made its debut. Let's see what the original cast have been up to now. Spider-Man co-creator and Marvel Comics' great primary creative leader Stan Lee made cameo appearances in all three movies of the franchise, including 2002's Spider-Man. Lee co-created numerous popular fictional characters, including superheroes like the X-Men, Iron Man, Thor, the Hulk, and many others. Following his retirement from Marvel in the 1990s, Stan Lee remained a public figurehead for the company and continued independent creative ventures into his 90s, until his death in 2018, aged 92. In the first Spider-Man film, the four-time Oscar nominee Willem Dafoe portrayed Norman Osborn, Harry's father and Oscorp leader who later became the Green Goblin. As one of the biggest names in the Spider-Man franchise, Defoe went on to appear in numerous well-known movies, such as The Fault in Our Stars, John Wick, Aquaman, and The Lighthouse. He has also reprised his role as Green Goblin in the 2021's film, Spider-Man No Way Home. The 67-year-old actor was ranked number 18 in the New York Times Magazine list of the 25 greatest actors of the 21st century. Franco achieved worldwide fame and attention since the 2002 film Spider-Man, where he played Harry Osborn, the son of the villainous Green Goblin and best friend of Spider-Man. After rapping on the franchise, Franco starred in movies like Pineapple Express, Oz the Great and Powerful, The Disaster Artist, and many more. His portrayal of real-life mountain climber Aaron Ralston in 127 Hours, 2010, remains his most well-known and most well-reviewed movie to date. The actor also caught some sexual misconduct accusations and lawsuits over the years. Born on April 19, 1978, the actor and filmmaker is 44 years old as of this video. Betty Brant, the receptionist at the Daily Bugle for J. Jonah Jameson, was played by actress Elizabeth Banks throughout the whole trilogy. She later became widely known for her remarkable roles in the Hunger Games franchise and the Pitch Perfect film series in which Banks made her directorial debut. Banks also directed, wrote, produced, and starred in the action comedy film Charlie's Angels, 2019. The 48-year-old actress and director has more than 250 credits to her name within film, television, and video games. Manganiello landed the role of Eugene Flash Thompson, Peter Parker's nemesis. He reprised the role several years later, making a brief cameo at the end of 2007's Spider-Man 3. After Spider-Man, Manganiello became known for his roles in HBO series True Blood, Magic Mike, and its 2015 sequel among others. In 2016, Manganiello was cast as Slade Wilson slash Deathstroke in the DC Extended Universe, making his first appearance in 2017's Justice League. The 45-year-old actor and modern family star Sofia Vergara got married on November 21, 2015. J.K. Simmons played the role of J. Jonah Jameson, the grouchy publisher of the Daily Bugle newspaper who considers Spider-Man a criminal. The actor has since done voiceover works, appeared on plenty of TV shows and movies such as La La Land, DC Extended Universe film, Zack Snyder's Justice League, and returned to his role as J. Jonah Jameson in Spider-Man No Way Home. The web series The Daily Bugle and the Sony Spider-Man universe film Venom Let There Be Carnage. The now 67-year-old actor is living happily with his wife and two children. English actress Rosemary Harris appeared as wise and patient Aunt May Parker in the trilogy, starting from the first installment in 2002 when she was 75 years old. The now 94-year-old actress has received numerous Nobel awards for her contributions to the industry, including Tony, Oscar, Emmy Award, and was inducted into the American Theatre Hall of Fame. In the movie, Uncle Ben was the character who uttered the famous line, 
With great power comes great responsibility. The role was played by actor Cliff Robinson when he was 79 years old. Sadly, Spider-Man 3, which hit theaters in 2007, was his final movie. On September 10, 2011, one day after his 88th birthday, Robertson died of natural causes in Stony Brook, New York. In the Sam Raimi Spider-Man film trilogy, American actor Bill Nunn was cast as the Daily Bugle editor Robbie Robertson. Nunn died on September 24, 2016 when he was 62 years old. His widow, Donna, confirmed that he had leukemia. Wrestler Bonesaw McCraw in 2002's Spider-Man was the most famous film role of former professional wrestler Macho Man Randy Savage. Savage was described by ESPN as one of the greatest pro wrestlers who ever lived, and as the greatest title holder of all time by WWE. In 2011, Savage died at age 58 after suffering a sudden heart attack while driving with his wife in Florida. American actor, voice actor, producer, writer, and director Bruce Campbell, a longtime colleague of director Sam Raimi, cameoed as the announcer at the wrestling ring in 2002's Spider-Man, and then returned as a rude usher in Spider-Man 2 and as the head waiter in Spider-Man 3. Campbell later kept on appearing in movies and lent his voice to open-world action-adventure video games loosely based on the Spider-Man film series. In addition to acting and occasionally directing, the now 64-year-old actor is also known as a writer. American character actor, director, comedian, and writer Ted Raimi is known for his role in the works of his brother Sam Raimi, including Daily Bugle employees Ted Hoffman in the Spider-Man trilogy. His other movie credits include The Evil Dead, Candyman, Army of Darkness, Oz the Great and Powerful, as well as the television series like Twin Peaks, Baywatch, and Supernatural. The actor was born on December 14, 1965, and is now 56 years old. The role of main villain Dr. Octopus in Spider-Man 2 was portrayed by English-American actor Alfred Molina. After wrapping his role in Spider-Man, Molina appeared in few other projects as well as lending his voice to characters in Rango, Monsters University, and Frozen 2. He recently returned as Dr. Octopus in the Marvel Cinematic Universe film Spider-Man No Way Home 2021. Known for his widespread acclaim work on stage and on screen, the actor is 69 years old as of this video. Before being known as the tragic villain, Flint Marco, or Sandman in Spider-Man 3, Thomas Hayden Church was also known for his role of Lyle Van de Groot in comedy George of the Jungle, and was an Academy Award nominee for his performance in 2004's comedy drama Sideways. As many others on the list, Church has also reprised his role as Sandman in the 2021 film Spider-Man No Way Home. Joining the Spider-Man universe when he was 47 years old, the now 62-year-old actor is also an acclaimed director and writer. Actor Topher Grace played Eddie Brock, Peter's rival at the Daily Bugle who later turned into Venom in the third movie of the series. Grace joined the cast when he was 29 and is now 44 years old. After starring in Spider-Man, Grace has appeared as supporting roles in many other projects, most notably Christopher Nolan's sci-fi adventure Interstellar and comedy film American Ultra, alongside Jesse Eisenberg and Kristen Stewart. Topher Grace was married to actress Ashley Hinson in 2016, and together they have two children. After her portrayal as Gwen Stacy, Peter's lap partner in Spider-Man 3 in 2007, Bryce Dallas Howard went on to receive critical acclaim for her work as Victoria in Twilight series' third installment, Eclipse and Claire Deering in the science fiction action film Jurassic World and its sequels Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom 2018 and Jurassic World Dominion 2022, the first two of which rank as her most commercially successful films. The now 41-year-old actress is now a mother of two to actor Seth Gable. Kirsten Dunst portrayed Mary Jane Watson, also known as MJ, Peter's next-door neighbor and girlfriend. After Spider-Man, Dunst took part in numerous acclaimed projects such as Marie Antoinette and science fiction drama Melancholia. 
for her performance in the 2021's The Power of the Dog, distributed by Netflix. The 40-year-old actress received Academy Award and Golden Globe Award nominations for Best Supporting Actress. Dunst and her fiancé, Jesse Plemons, welcomed their first child together, a son, in May 2018. Tobey Maguire played Peter Parker, aka Spider-Man, the protagonist of the whole trilogy since the franchise started in 2002, when he was 27 years old. Tobey's performance as Spider-Man earned him glowing reviews and made him a star. After Spider-Man, Tobey was busy, starring in the 2009 drama Brothers, 2013's Great Gatsby, and many more. He was also allegedly involved in illegal gambling in 2011, but reportedly settled his poker lawsuit later that year. The 47-year-old star recently reprised his role as Peter Parker slash Spider-Man in the Marvel Cinematic Universe film Spider-Man No Way Home 2021, and will appear in Damien Chazelle's ensemble film Babylon, where he will also serve as an executive producer. That was all for today and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave a comment below if you have any recommendation for our channel and don't forget to hit like and subscribe to support us. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!